Hey everybody, welcome back to Evil Genius. Hope you're having a great day. So I was about to do another super agent mission, right? But then something popped up in here. What's mine is mine. There's a new loot item that just popped up. I gotta see what it is, right? So King Solomon's rich mine shaft is one of the last great unsolved mysteries of the world. But while you could let a mystery go, you could never leave treasure untouched. So let's go find it. Send a scientific expedition to the likeliest location of the mine shaft so that you can make preparations to extract its riches. If I asked the wise King Solomon what to do about all your past failures, he'd tell me to cut you in half. No, boss. I, I swear, it was an honest mistake. Uh, you know how I get with time zones. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I'm even wiser. You're going to make it up to me. Do you know how? Name it. Anything you want, boss. Just say it, and I'll do it. Solomon also had a mine with wealth beyond measure, whose location has been lost to history. Find it. All right. So we're going to find King Solomon's treasure. We need to survey the mine on the world stage. And we have very quiet world stage, don't we? There's only a few regions where there's anyone to oppose us. And, well, I mean... There's nobody here, so I guess we just do what we want now, right? Yeah. Before you can swing a pick, your scientists need to survey the land you're mining. Have a team of scientists handle that so that you can get to digging. So we're just going to go ahead and do that really quick. Send them on their way. Uh, it looks like there's another one here. Oh, the homebody problem. What is this? The heat has people staying home, so it's impossible for your minions to stake out places without being noticed. Lean on the media to air exciting ads about art museums. People will flood back to them. Wait, so if I don't do this in time, you're going to gain 200 heat here? Oh, King Solomon. You're going to mess with me, huh? I'm just getting cocky. Serves me right. The optional getting objective. Getting cocky like that serves me right. I'm going to send a counter agent over to there. And let's go ahead and take care of this intel really quick. Because I maxed out on it. And then... Well, shoot. I guess I got to go do this now. But I got 14 minutes to do that. And this is going to take, like, no time at all. So I guess we'll just wait for that to happen. And um, then we'll go ahead and do that other thing. Now, I am making big expansions. You might notice my power is going up. And mostly it's just to see how much I can get this vault. I mean, this is basically my life at this point, aside from the side quests and stuff. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can fill this up. So I went ahead in the basement and I'm, you know, carving some things out. There you go. You can get a preview of what I'm up to down there. Uh, back up the team on the world stage. It appears you were followed by Saber. Send, re Ooh, Saber, send, send reinforcements to protect your investment. Oh, and your uh, science team. <laughs> right. So it looks like I gotta send more. Back up the team. I'm gonna send uh, mercenaries there. I suppose this is just gonna keep ticking away, huh? Interesting. All right, ten mercenaries need to head there now to reinforce and back the whole thing up. So we'll let that happen real quick, and I'll uh, I'll be right back. All right. It says your reinforcement team is having trouble with its equipment. Oh no! What the heck? Uh, send a team of your mechanics to further reinforce them. This is just, like, never-ending stream, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Solomon, you bastard. Here we go. You, your drill sustained damage while your minions were fighting against Saber's forces. Send a mechanical team to repair your equipment so that you can finally, finally, get your hands on King Solomon's treasure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, still ticking down eight minutes. <laughs> I probably should resolve this, shouldn't I? I probably should resolve this threat before it locks the region down for me. Like, I have no super agents, and yet the region gets locked down. That would suck. 20 more minions need to go do this. And then I'm going to send some people over here to resolve this. Honestly, let's just do this first. We can do this next. Let's solve this first before it's too late. Oh, my gosh. All right. While we were doing all that, the, the fly trap has completed. All right. So we can... If we want to, the giant plant, the Venus spy trap, catch more spies with the giant with the with the giant mutant plant. Now this thing is enormous, and I kind of 
don't know how I feel about placing this in, a, in this little area. I was going to replace the dog, but I already have this. And this is treasure, so I almost, I'm tempted to, like, not just take that away. But I, I think if I just put this right here, I'm probably asking for people to get real damage from it. But if I put it, like, right here, I'm wondering what happens. I'm going to move the slippery floor stuff, actually. Let's not sell it all. Um, let's just move it. And I'll stick it, like, over here for now. And uh, maybe over here in this little hallway just to see. And, you know, maybe... Uh, yeah, we'll put it over here. But then I want to put this, this, this big trap right here. I I'm going to stick it right here and see what happens. So that's, that's like, right in their face. And uh, I guess this guard post will go over here. All right, so I want to see it, it, when we start taking out like Agent X and all that stuff. Uh, Olga, maybe we can see if um, if they get in this a trap, and then we can succeeded. see what it's all about, see what it looks like. So send technical help to the world stage is the current task. We already got rid of this, so now I get to go do that, and uh, I will let this run for a little while. Maybe buy some mercenaries. Mm, martial artists is what I want to buy, huh? No, mercenaries. Oh, what's this? Okay, hot to trot. Solomon's at it again. I can send five. Honestly, I'm only going to lose $20,000. Five guards, I think, is... I'd rather have the five guards. So, anyway, I'm going to let this run. I'll be right back. Seated. All right, it says, After all that effort and time, you've learned at last that the mine harbors nothing. <laughs> but you won't let that deter you. If you can't have the treasure, you'll take the mine. Wow. Complete the research. Participation trophy. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. Of course. You've determined not to come away from this Solomon's Minecraft. Mine Minecraft. Oh god. You're determined not to come away from this Solomon's Mineshaft affair. Empty-handed. Have your team devise a way for you to transport the actual mineshaft itself back to your lair. My son discovered Minecraft on YouTube. He's he's five. It's it's begun. It's it's begun. His the friends showed him. Begun. That's how they always find things, you know. They're gonna find things from their friends, and that's that's okay. That's how I learned things. That's how I found things. Uh, so yeah, I a little slip there. Oh well, it happens. I said the M word. Twitch, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, I am, you know, you know, honestly, the other people, the other thing, people at Twitch told me that I don't promote my Twitch enough. I, I really don't promote anything enough. I put all of my promotions, if you will, Only at the end of my videos, must. you know? Like the video, by the way, if you haven't done so already, or uh, subscribe and all that stuff. I put that at the end of the videos. I just figure like the videos are gonna take care of themselves, but the more and more I think about it, and the more and more I listen to the marketing people of my community, the more and more I realize that I really should, you know, hawk it out. I should advertise that. It's my own stuff. It's my work. And if you already like this... Oh, my God. I missed it. <laughs> she didn't. Uh, I got her. <laughs> okay. And destroy. An intruder is in the lab. Kill them. Uh, ooh. You're not gonna, not gonna let me get away from this easy, are you? Getting Jubei in there. So, uh, so yeah, maybe I'll take opportunities, right, to, to do that. If, if I, if I stated it maybe every video, I think it would get annoying, but what if I have one of those little, you know, I think those little pop-up things people do on the screen, they don't, they're not effective, you know? Especially for you guys who watch it like two times speed and stuff, like, those things are not effective. What would be effective for you? You know, I asked this knowing that people are just going to say, well, if I like your video, I'll subscribe. But that's actually like, according to my analytics, that's not the case. You know, the overwhelming majority of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And so, like, I feel like sometimes I should mention it. And I, we were talking about this, like I said, on Twitch for quite a while. And um, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe that is... That's just normal. It's, it's the new normal, if you will. And, uh, man, you know, like, maybe that's just the way it is. And I should absolutely 
hawk the hell out of my stuff, you know? So here, here, here it goes, as awkward as it is, because I don't do self-promotions, right? Not really. That's why I'm a terrible businessman. That's why I'm a terrible marketer, right? So here it goes. If you'd like to see more of my stuff and you want to hang out and see the energy and the fun and excitement that goes along with my live shows, because I tell you what, if, if you've seen other live streamers, it's, it's not the same. All right. And people who are from my Twitch, people who regular my Twitch, get in the comments down in this video and just, I don't know, probably half of you aren't even caught up with this, so you probably won't even see it, but get in the comments and like reaffirm people and say, look, he's real, all right? This is a thing. It's fun. You should come to Twitch and just hang out with us, okay? And if you're not into Twitch, maybe you're just like, no, YouTube, I don't do Twitch. Okay, that's fine. Come to Fridays, right? They're, they're Surviving Mars streams. They're on YouTube. These are streams on YouTube. You can, you can look at the channel right now and see the schedule. It's there, you know? And uh, I'm doing Wednesdays, City Skylines on Wednesdays, right? And I'll probably start Anno. I'll probably do Anno live as well uh, later on. It's it's a good time. And if it's not your thing after you try it, then I guess, you know, it is what it is. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's been like the highlight of my content creation life has been live experiences where I can interact with you guys in real time. And it's been my favorite thing. So if you haven't tried it yet, link in the description. I'll leave it at the very top of the description even. So you don't even have to scroll in and see more, right? Just, just follow me on Twitch. Maybe you'll like it once in a while, right? We, we play completely different content there than we do here. Eh, well, okay, I can't say that. So we, a lot of times we double dip the genre, but it's di completely separate series, right? I, I no longer carry my Twitch content over to YouTube for various reasons that I've discussed at nauseum uh, on Twitch, so. Um, and in YouTube videos and stuff, too. But in any case, there's the end of my, what some people would refer to as a rant. I'm trying to buy time for this research to finish, because that's all I have to do right now is this participation trophy. Look at my spare power! <laughs> Look at it! Oh, it's glorious! Hi! Hello, power room! Oh my goodness, that is something, isn't it? Now I have to drop a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, I have to drop a whole bunch more of these saves now. I don't have to, but I can. And I will. I'm going to fill this whole thing up and I can leave them all uh, powered on too. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I need to let this thing progress for research-wise. And since it's almost done, I'll just carry you with me on this real-time journey now. Your scientists have made all right. Breakthrough. Send one last team to dig up the entire mine shaft. Shrink it down to a transportable size and bring it back home. I'll fix it up there and I'll bring it back here. You decided to just dig out the entire mine shaft, shrink it down and transport it whole. Get your drills to work because you can't shrink the mine shaft until something. Until the whole thing's been excavated. Oh yeah. Right, of course. All right, excavate the mine shaft, shrink it down to size. In the meantime, I'm going to add more vaults. So I will see you guys in a second. And again, let me know your thoughts about this. I, I, I sometimes I'll, you, you call it rants, I guess, but I, sometimes I bring up topics that are real, you know, like actual real life topics that matter to me. And um, it's cool to get your feedback on that. So um, I, I think at, at the very least, the start of series is like episode ones and stuff. Episode ones and stuffs. Yeah. Maybe I'll start doing it in those. I didn't do it in the other video today. You guys are seeing another video today. Uh, brand new game. But um, maybe I'll start, I don't know. Maybe I'll start doing more of that. Because I really do feel like, and maybe this is just me talking out loud and maybe being big headed. But I really do feel like my content is okay. Like it's a, it's doing, I'm doing pretty well um, in terms of providing the, the value that I think meets the majority expectation, right? And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where if I am doing well, then I should see that growth continue. And um, I, I do see it continue. Uh, it's certainly slowed since EG2's release, but, um, well, okay, no, it's, it's hastened since the release and then it's slowed since then is what I mean to say. But I mean, if, if there's something I could casually be doing in the videos to generate more subscribers, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be doing it, right? So it, it, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna go all like, smash that like button. Okay, I'm not 12, right? 
or I guess I guess more than 12 year olds say that I suppose so I'm not some punk college kid who just wants to get off on false excitement right that's not that's not who I am I, I get, I'm genuine for you guys right um not not because uh I don't know how to do that stuff I could totally just be like top of the morning laddies I could totally do that if I wanted to um like I I can handle it but um I just I just don't it's because it annoys me and I don't want to do things that annoy me because I just assume that they annoy you you know what I get more saves if I go around the outside than I go around the inside. All right, I'm gonna let this go. I'll see you guys in a second, I'm sorry. So, side story is complete. Uh, we have the loot in our lair, hopefully, collect the reward, and that takes care of that. There we go. So, the next thing to do, I suppose, is I think we just continue with super agents until we're done and then maybe do these guys so we don't have to worry about super agents while we're doing these guys so going along that note I think I'm saving agent x for last because it just I just think it's a nice little sweet finale to the super agents to take him out at my home turf so going along that note daughter of the atom Atomic Olga, the unstoppable hammer super soldier, has set her sights on your operation. Neutralize her before she becomes a serious threat. Put her in her place by pulling off an impressive heist right in her backyard. Atomic Olga, daughter of the Atom. I've heard quite a lot about you. Good! That will save me time. I am here to stop you. Or kill you. Whichever comes first. We don't need to be enemies, you know. You could just step aside. <laughs> Maybe you are thinking that you can defeat me because you are so smart. Because you know things. But here is something I know that you don't. You cannot outsmart the winter. You can only wait for it to kill you. Wow. Is that like a Russian proverb or something? <laughs> Uh, defy her on the world stage. Okay, we will do. All the way over here. Before I do that, though. Well, I really wanted to get... Ooh, is this technicians? Biologists. No. I need more technicians from all the repairs I have to do. Um, let me just put some counter agents in there first so I don't have to deal with it. So, it looks like the, the task I need to do is over here. And... Oh, wouldn't you know it? She's already locked down the region. So I have to wait for that to come back before I can do it. So let me wait for this to come back. I'll send people to this. And then you'll see the result of it when we come uh, back into it. The beginning of this, though, it says a shipment of gold is being transported along the Trans-Siberian Railway. In the wide wilderness, it'll become completely unprotected. Except Atomic Olga. Oh, it'll, it'll be completely un unprotected except for Atomic Olga. So evade the super soldier and get the goods. We're going to do that when this unlocks and I'll be right back. All right. Now, I don't think I messed it up per se, but I accidentally did. Uh, I did a scheme here that to get mercenaries and whatever. Uh, and then I canceled it right after starting it because I realized she was watching it. But I think it's too late. So this is three, two, one. I think she's coming. I will stop you or kill you. Whichever comes first. I don't know. If she's actually coming. Um, because this is queued up. And it says she's watching this one. Which is the final one for her. So I think I'm about to get this done. And then lure her to lair. All in one go. So it might actually be... Nah, nah, never mind. She's already here. Well, hopefully when we get this done. It'll say lure her to lair. And then it will auto-complete that. Because she's already here. I'm kind of hoping that's what that will do. Cause, but I, I kind of misclicked that. So it looks like Olga... She comes in through the front door. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. So she's coming in through the, co the cover op. And uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with people in the cover operation. But we're going to get Iris out here. We're going to make sure Incendio is listening. Getting him out here. We get Fugu out here. And Sir Daniel. I'll get him out here too. And uh, if we can get everybody out here before she arrives. I, we're gonna have to just take her out. I think we'll just take her down, maybe over in this area, closer to the door. I don't know. We'll see. Construct pistol rack. Oh, that's so. It's not lure her. Hang on. Wait. 
uh, using tech your minions dropped. Atomic Olga has discovered where your lair is. Bolster your defenses because she's coming for you. Really? A pistol rack? You are supposed to do this stuff way before I am. Okay, well. I mean, I don't have room for pistol racks. Because I haven't done this in... I've had to do pistol racks in a long time, so... All right, pistol rack. Um, one, two. Uh, let me do it here. Three. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we do it? How about here? Four. That works. And do we have one more spot without? I guess I'll just make this an armory temporarily. Uh oh, do you know what I mean? This ain't gonna work, man. Oh, this ain't gonna work out. Uh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just put the... the Nope. The pistol rack. Pistol rack. Pistol rack. And we'll just stick this in the middle of the floor. It's fine. Uh, and then I just need to move you to... Say, there. I think that works. That will be five pistol racks. So, just to satisfy the requirement. But she's coming anyway. Whether it says... You know, lure her or not. She's coming anyway. An agent. You know, I kind of wish I'd put the loot in a separate video. But I guess this video will just be really long. And it'll start with loot. I suppose that's just the way it'll go. That wasn't a very long mission. So I could probably chop that up a lot. I don't know. How long was the loot portion of this video? A couple of minutes, maybe. We're going to see the... got to see the loot too, don't we? At the end, we'll see the... Oh, I'll just drop it right now. Why not? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. It's all loot category. So, right here. King Solomon's Mines. <laughs> They're not his anymore. Although, it might have been easier to bring back just the gold. And then, can I put it anywhere? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. I can put it right here. Or maybe... We, we kept room right here, right? I left some room for this, but it's really tight. All right, so it's going right here. I'm moving the Declaration of Independence over to here because it looks, you know, they can look at it while they're on the table or whatever. Uh, but then I'm moving this right here instead. So there you go. And then I guess if I wanted it to be like a real museum-ish thing, I'd probably move this back a little bit for show. Yeah. So there we go. We're just going to do that. Atomic Olga is in my casino, though. It's time to address this. And she's probably going to start killing people any second. Is she only... Wait, now, is she only... Okay, I was going to say, is she only coming with two other people? Yeah, no, five soldiers. That makes more sense. All right, so... An agent has been captured. Where are you coming? Where are you going? Let's see. I'm going to mark them, but I want to wait until... I want them to get over here. Incendio's here. We can make him. What do you wish? If I get him over here, oh, check this out. I bet you, if I can get him, but of course, to do that. Atomic Olga is here. Now his Find range attack does some CC stuff, which is awesome. So I think I can start this by getting. I'm listening. Okay, you're pretty close, Sir Daniel. Let's get you in the game. Get you in here. No time I mean, all of you should be close. Responding. Freaking Iris loves the stairs. Never mind. Uh, Fugu, what are you close? Do you need? You're down here again, too. Okay, well, I guess that's not happening. But we know what we have one trusty dude that can always be in the position we need him to be in, and that's that's GB. That's GB. So we're gonna just go. Play with bam. Fire. A trifling and get yourself, get yourself in there and go. Now, Incendio These can basically CC huge them. enemy, like, just huge CC abilities over and over again. It's crazy good. Hmm? Now we have Sir Daniel in the game. Uh, come here. Can, can I have it? Can, can yeah. I have it? Spotted me. Construct furniture. <laughs> Creates a bear trap to catch unruly agents. I can't really do that. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyway, unless I can just, I guess I can just put it here. Construct bear bear trap. Like Although I'm pretty sure is GB gonna like. You see me again, yeah, she's gone. Okay. I will repay this tenfold. 
What does camouflage do? I want to see this guy's abilities. Daniel equips his trusty camouflage and stalks the lair. Agents will not spot him. It's all <laughs> and now we can shoot with increased damage, right? I can't tell. I mean, he died. So it did something good, but I don't know how much health he had already anyway. But Incendio is ridiculous in a crowd, man. That guy just... I love his skills. I love it. It's cool. I don't give a shit about this. this. Like, oh, my slot machine. Big deal. I'll just go ahead and replace it. Honestly, I could just do this. Easy. They're going to come out this way anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, hang on. So if I sell it and put it right back in the same spot, it still has the damage. Oh, I see. I see how you're doing this. All right, all right. So it's not really a sell, is it? Well, I, don't, I guess I don't want to sell it. <laughs> Move it here. All right, fair enough. They got out here to replace it, so whatever. It's big, no big deal. I can't put this line up because of that welcome desk, so I guess this just goes back right where it was. But that ah, CC is so good. All right, now it says defeat Tomic Olga in the lair. Right, I gotta do it over again. So let me do it one more time. I think I have to split this into two videos. How do I get? Uh. Oh well, it is what it is. You guys are just gonna see it as long as it is. Ah. <sighs> Hope you're ready for multi-hour videos. <laughs> God, I'll be right back. Okay, so it turns out it didn't have to do it again. All I had to do was go to the map and come back. And then it just completed. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and collect the reward. You have managed to impress me, Tavares. And here, I was worried that this would be easy. Do you know how much sane people fear me? How lucky someone is when they can walk away from me and live. Always you are bringing it back to who knows what to I may have lost, but now I know something new. What would that be? I know that you complete the varish. I will personally make sure you do it again. That's Vadanya. All right. So the soldiers are here, and I'm wondering, can I? Uh... I want to capture you guys. Your minions are in combat. Uh, that one's basically dead anyway. These guys are all marked for capture. Oh, they're already marked for capture. Okay, never mind. You guys are just... Yeah, you guys are all there. <laughs> Sandio's, Sandio's just making you guys all just flop around like fish. My gosh. How much uh, health does Jibe have? Because he was in the thick of it for like a long time. I'm listening. He lost almost nothing. Like, that's pretty crazy. Yes. Wow. All right, cool. So, uh, next step for Olga. Let's just get this done, because I have a feeling this is going to be a very long video. Uh, Atomic Olga is... Uh, she claims to be unstoppable, but everyone has a weakness, even a super soldier. The more you find out about her, the more likely you'll uncover what you need to bring her down. She's an exemplary super soldier, but she didn't come from nowhere. Dig deeper into her origins and see if she has a weakness you can exploit. I see you have been busy since our last meeting, Tavarish. It might surprise you to learn that my operation cannot simply be dismantled by an instrument as blunt as you. A bullet is blunt, is it not? And my bullets have already dismantled quite a few of your minions. <laughs> I like your laugh. This is unacceptable. My plans are in too delicate a place to risk an unbalancing factor like Atomic Olga. She calls herself unstoppable. But everyone has a weakness. It's high time I found hers. Okay. So we need to investigate her on the world stage. Go figure. Didn't see that coming. Uh, we'll find there, looks like. Uh, it says, you know that somewhere there exists a large amount of archive footage of Atomic Olga's training. If your minions can steal it all, you can study it and predict how she'll fight. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And then there's another one, supposedly. There's two of them right here. Uh, Tomika Olga was a person before she was a super soldier. She's not a person anymore. <laughs> Activate your sleeper agents in the Hammer military and have them smuggle your 
smuggle you personal records on the woman who became Atomic Olga. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get those two things done, and uh, I'll be right back. Also, if you want to see this really quick, you captured an agent. this is the uh, King Solomon's Mines. It says they're not really his anymore, although it might be easier to bring back the gold. That's kind of all it says. Uh, it adds rogue suspicion, but I really don't know how you can use it or what it's for. Um, an agent. It doesn't have any uses, so I don't know. But there it is, King Solomon's Mines. All right, I will let the things on the map complete, and I'll be right back. Okay, new new step here. Looks like it says you've learned about the past of the you've learned about the past of the woman who became Atomic Olga. Now bring together that information into a master plan. We need to complete more research. It's called Atomic Flaw. Okay, there you go. Start that up. Let my scientist complete that, and I'll uh, I'll be right back. Okay, it says Book Olga's figure income. skater brother, <laughs> Victor. To do an ice show for your minions stationed in Vladivost uh, Vladivos Vladivostok. I think that's how you say it. Vladivostok. Uh, and, uh, of course, make sure Tomic Olga knows who's bankrolling the show. She has a figure skater brother named Victor. Okay. All right. So, uh, book an ice, an ice show on the world stage. Wow. Let's go ahead and... Gonna go ahead and brains, uh, brainwash all of the soldiers, and then we're gonna head over Interrogation. and book an ice show. Is a world-renowned figure skater. Secrets. Book him to put on a show. Send enough minions to make up a decent crowd, and of course, ensure Atomic Olga knows what you're doing. Wow. Okay. Fine. Fine. There you go. Uh, okay. I will let that run, and we'll be right back. All right, the figure skater. Let's do this. Come out and play, evil <laughs> I will be gentle. She has arrived to protect her brother. Intercept and end her. Okay, there she is. She's coming back in, and same thing as last time. I'm going to let her get herself over into this area and then ambush her with at least three of my henchmen, and... That'll be the end of her once more. Maybe we'll even take some of her guards that we've now trained to be hitmen. Beat her with her own improved guards. I don't know. Right, these guys are uh, fighting Iris over here. And I kind of want to deal with that really quick. Because, like, Iris, I need Iris. But, um, I mean, she can take a huge beating. Yeah, she can take a pretty big beating. We're going to apply this to get her to heal. And then uh, we're going to want to get her over here. If possible, we can get her that way. Maybe. I don't know. She's doing the heal thing still. Let's get it over here. Uh, and actually, you know what? I had, up until right now, I had Sir Daniel in here. Let's get him disguised. Let's actually see if we can bear trap these guys. They're coming through the, cas the casino right here. But I'm wondering if I can get them bear trapped. Like right here. Why can't I put this? Oh, here. No. I don't think you can actually put this in the casino. I think it has to be in a corridor. Yeah, it has to be in a corridor. Well, that's useless in here then. Darn it. All right, but he can at least... He can at least camouflage, right? No? Wait, why not? What's he doing? Are you stuck? Uh-oh. Um, I think so. Yeah, I can't tell what the hell you're doing. Let's kill Olga, please. I think he's... Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's doing something now. Well, maybe not. I think he's bugged. Oh, that really sucks. Incendio is going to crowd control here, though. I want that intruder found and killed. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do this. I need, to, I need you to do your ranged attack. Ranged. Okay, so here's the thing. Olga's just pummeling into Sir Daniel right now, basically. And he's not doing anything because he's bugged out right now. What the heck? I can't move him. Oh, that sucks. GB, I need you. you. 
Jube, I need you. I need you. Get over here. All right. Now we're good. Incendio might get his butt kicked here. Because he's not going to do ranged attacks. Go. There he goes. I like that much better. Yep. There we go. All right, Jube, come over here and take out Olga instead, please. All right, she's toast. What's going on with Daniel right now? Darn it. All right, Super Agent suffers another defeat. I got to figure out what's up with him, man. That sucks. I wanted him to go all sneaky and stuff. Uh, all right, 200,000. Uh, claims to be unstoppable, but everyone knows her weakness. We did it. Let's go. Whenever we have these little chats, you're always so jovial, Olga. What's changed? You know exactly what has changed. You should not have brought my brother into this. You came after what I care about, Atomic Olga. All I did was return the favor. And he was paid well for his services. Nothing happened to him, and nothing needs to, if you don't test me. I was not taking you seriously before. When I return, you will see how much I was holding back. Okay. Good. Uh, so... Yes? I think you are bugged. It might be because of the furniture thing. Maybe if you try to set furniture but fail... Then he will stay. So what if I... Um, if I go like this. Sorry to spring this on ah, you. see? Now he springs to life. So I think if you try to construct it and he's just like stuck there until you actually construct it, I think. Which I don't really want him to do that. So can I cancel it? Maybe that's how. If I cancel this, destroy. Confirm. Do you just walk around now? Yeah, now you're good. All right. That's what happened. All right, that's a little weird. But all right, anyway. Now that we're... Now that I figured that out. Uh, up and at him. Up and at him. She's escalated her campaign against you. She will not be satisfied for anything less than your total destruction. Endure her attacks for as long as possible. Okay. We're basically protoss against her. Is that what it is? Uh, has personally taken to the field of battle. Her recent attacks have been a huge setback. So engage her with... So en engage with her to cut off these troubles at the source. I notice you are not quaking with the fear of me, Tavarish. It is good that I am here to fix that for you. You brag, but the atomic Olga I've met so far is just a sore loser with a big mouth and a weightlifting habit. That was before you decided to make it personal. Now, I will destroy your operation one minion at a time. You made this personal when you challenged me. And while you fought admirably, you haven't beaten me yet. In battle, yet. But war is more than battle. We will see if you know that as well as I do. All right, then. Defeat her on the world stage once again. Three more instances of defeat for her. Local law enforcement have been tipped off to your activities by Atomic Olga. If you don't steal fresh money to bribe them, they won't let you operate unharassed in her territory. Fine. Whatever. And now she's here to mess with me. Uh, but in the meantime, we can also do this one. It says, Hammer Air Forces have created no-fly zones through several of your key air transport routes. You know Atomic Olga is behind it. Develop new stealth flyers to skirt around her blockade. All right. And then she's got another event that popped up there, too, to... Uh, a large amount of ice, and you decided to steal it from the Arctic Circle, but Atomic Olga has uh, sicked some environmentalists on you. Oh my gosh. I fear fear for my life, guys. The environmentalists are here. <laughs> Atomic Olga has shut down the fronts you use to launder money in Hammer territory. Get teams in place to quickly establish new ones. All right, cool. Maybe in fields besides evil technologies this time. She's got these little events that pop up on each one. All right, cool. Well, all we have to do is beat her at those three things, and uh, I will let that run. I'll be right back. Complete. All right, we did the three things. 
And uh, it says, under Atomic Olga's leadership, the agents of the forces of justice have grown bolder. Remind them that you are one to be feared. Uh, kill veteran soldiers in the lair. Oh, okay. Interesting. She's sending veteran soldiers. Fine. Um, that might just be the name of the soldiers that come with her. Now, this one here says it's going to gain 200 heat to the region unless I send him four martial artists. I don't really care about the heat gain, honestly. She's not that. It's not that important to me. So I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to let that one go. And I decided to go on this one because it was really cheap. And, um, you know, like, I guess I probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't care about the heat gain. So I'm actually just going to cancel it before, the, before they take off. Which it looks like they're just going to go ahead and let it happen now. So that's fine. Um, we can get the mercenaries for 25k in the meantime there. And I think everything else can just happen. Just let it be. So kill the veteran soldiers in the lair. I'm, sure, I'm assuming they're on their way in. Here they are. We have to kill five of them, but there are six coming. Okay. Kill five out of the six. Yes. Speaking of which, do I have any prisoners? I have couple of investigators I can get intel out of and that's about it for now maybe I can capture these these veteran soldiers it's possible incendio's right there I mean I could just again stun lock them let's see incendio? if incendio could take them by himself Consider it done. I want to see how strong he really is here I bet you he can take this all by himself with grace seriously I I told you to go this way, and you're... Oh, my God. Wait a minute. These aren't veteran soldiers. These are... In, these are... What? An oh, man. Has succeeded. Where's the veteran soldiers? More intel. These are investigators. Lame. Okay, well. Maybe they're coming... Ne or... Or... Maybe they're coming in the back? No, I don't think so. Oh, there they are. I turn my back, man. All right, so where is Incendio? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Incendio yes. is listening. I'm already there. Well, all right. I'm on my way. Are you? Where are you? There he is. Okay, I think he can take these guys all by himself. This is where the magic If he doesn't walk up to them and shoot. But of course. I know. Yes, this. This is going to just take them out all by himself. If he can bunch them up. No, I want you to go after these guys. You. Okay, well, he went after these these guys here. If that hadn't happened, I think he could have done it by himself if that hadn't happened. But he went after the investigators instead. What do you Get in here, Jubei. They will focus. All right. Like, it, it basically, it took his attention off of the soldiers that are the real threat, and then, Your yeah. Is in combat. He just hits Juve too. I love it. <laughs> Juve is just like, dude, your AoE sucks. So many people in the comments hate Incendio, but I think completely the opposite. Incendio I think he's one of the strongest listening. fighters in the game. I think he really is. Like, that AoE is so strong. Don't discount the strength of completely removing damage from the other side of the field. Okay? He does damage, but he CCs them. It's so powerful. In any case, uh, I just have to basically take the... Wait, are you... You seriously just be... Oh. I will kill You're still alive. Only if I'm well, Jubei's I'm there, not. so I trust you. I think you can handle it. We'll capture this guy, too. This one can be captured so I can have it as a soldier. Okay, so I'll capture them, do the thing. Probably need Olga to come in after that with more soldiers, and then I'll be right back. All right, I had to do one more task on the world stage just to, like, defy her again. It's it's a thing. But now the goal is to lure her, so I'm just going to do that right now. And, um, yeah, that's it. Then I'm going to send one of these some spin doctors out to the region to help with the heat. Uh, and then that's basically kind of it so now she's coming again just gonna defeat her again i think this is the third time so there's only one more time left before we learn her ultimate weakness and then we interrogate her on i don't know hopefully the fly trap 
Or the spy trap, I suppose it's called. Uh, looks like... Oh, no. Those are just soldiers. Where's Olga? Is she... What in the world? Oh no, three investigators at the same time. Where did Olga go? Your minions are in combat. Where? Oh, she's coming through the back. Oh, interesting. Send any soldiers from the front and the back. I see. Well, uh, Your cool. Minions are in combat. I suppose that's fine. Um, what do you ask of Jube? I live to serve. He's patrolling the lair. He's probably on stairs. There's enough. I mean, look at this. There are enough hitmen here. I don't. I don't need the henchmen. It's fine. <laughs> Collect the reward. You've taken shot after shot at me, Olga. But for all your grandstanding, it appears I'm still here. Duh. I have not fought my best. Even I must admit this. But do you know why I don't worry? I suspect if I remain silent, you'll tell me in just a moment. Because I have iron will and a body full of theta radiation against those. <laughs> Your big brain is not A body full of theta radiation. You're right, Olga. I haven't thought about a workaround wow. for theta radiation yet. Yet. <laughs> wow. Um, real quick, can I capture Jane any of these guys? Stalled. Yeah, this guy. Let's mark him for capture. Action. Hunt them down. Pretty much the only one left. So we'll go ahead and get him. I didn't see the flower go off, but like there's a huge response there. We basically have just a ton of guards just standing by waiting to respond. So whatever. I don't really need this flower, but it's only here purely for interrogation purposes later, I think. Okay. So the final stage with Olga, then. We have Pride Goeth Before the Fallout. <laughs> You two have come to blows many times, but no war can last forever. It's time for your final reckoning with the super soldier known as Atomic Olga. She mentioned theta radiation, which comes from specific isotopes of uranium. Find samples of the isotope and then run tests to see how you can best weaponize it. Of my scientists, you are my foremost radiation expert who's still alive. What do you know of theta radiation? We've never successfully harnessed it. It's rare. Incredibly unstable. And the thing that makes Atomic Olga so atomic. Which is why we're going to take it from her. I see. But how are we going to do that? It's a good thing I have a foremost radiation expert who's still alive <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> I love how she works it. <laughs> so wonderful. This one All right. Maybe. Um, I'm pretty sure we had soldiers coming in the front. Yep, there they are. But they are marked as leaving now. Your henchman is in combat. At least until they, uh, you know, see us already Your doing things. Locate and grab that intruder. And now they're on. Now they're on capture. Only if I now they're getting captured. Oh, Jube is gonna get wrecked here in a second. I think. Where is Incendio is normally in. What do you wish of Incendio? Oh, you're sitting at the table now. Well, you're normally in the casino. I will be there. Huh? Really? Get yourself in there, sir. Let's go. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. He's so good. <laughs> He's just like, wait. I have the power! <laughs> just bam, bam, bam. One shot dead. Oh, very good. Okay. Oh, very good. Complete atomic uh, research. Sorry. Complete the research project. Atomic weakness. Go ahead and do that. Uh, we want to try to figure out a way to weaponize that incredibly that stable, I unstable, sorry, incredibly unstable isotope of radiation. In the meantime, in the basement, let's take a look at my giant power facility being ever expanded even further. Why, you ask? Why expand even further, Charlie? They have absolutely nothing else to do. So we're expanding over here now, making a vault. Brand new vault happening over here. And uh, I will just keep... I'm just going to keep on keeping on right here and just keep doing it until it's, uh, uh, yeah. Yep. Mm hmm All of this, I guess. We'll just do that far. Most likely have to do something with the walls differently over here. But in the meantime, yeah, just that. Why not? Just take it all the way over to the wall. I'm going to leave this little space here just in case I need some extra power. But, I mean, whatever, man. <laughs> 
We're at the, what? The capacity now is at over 35 million. Over 35 million, guys. And still much more power to go. Uh, so anyway, yep, research projects. I will keep that going. Maybe I'll interrogate a soldier or two. And I'll be... I'll oh, brainwash. And I'll be right back. Okay, research is done. It says Atomic Olga mentioned Theta Radiation. Uh, she's unstoppable. Her unstoppable nature is thanks to Theta Radiation. If you create a magnet trap, that could neutralize Theta Rays. You could stop her once and for all. Really? A magnet? Really? The magnet? I don't have the magnet trap. I have never built it yet. And uh, this is incredibly narrow as a hallway. I, I love it, though. It's so narrow. But tell you what we can do. We can uh, take this little area here and widen this out. And then we can do traps in this area, I suppose. Not that it really matters all that much. Um, but look at all these guys. They're like, okay, we finally done with this gigantic job. Yeah, you're not done. It'll, uh, we're going to do all this too, maybe. I don't know. Just for, just to do it, honestly. Um, so let's come up and construct a magnet trap. Where are we going to do this? Let's, let's just put it right here. Whatever. And, because I don't have one in the lair yet. We're going to go like this. And there we go. This will be our magnet trap for her. And it's going to be purely used for interrogations. It's basically pointless in terms of trying to capture anybody. Although, if we moved it over to here, it would at least have some sort of function to protect the vault. So why don't we just at least do that? And then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll... It doesn't really matter. We'll just yeah, leave that alone like it is. Okay. So, um, if it's anything like the other ones that we've done, the super agents, we yeah, just construct this. We fire venom at her district. Then we that pisses her off. Then we bring her here. And then we capture her, interrogate her on the magnet, and that kills her, basically. So, thanks to your earlier interactions with Victor, you know where Atomic Olga's family lives. Why not treat the area to a taste of your doomsday device? Right. Why not? That's a good question. Why not? So, we're going to just fire this. Emma's been just sitting by this thing the whole time. And uh, Northern Hammer Districts. Northern Hammer. There it is. Fire when ready. The human race will destroy. And somebody in the comments asked me to play this in real time instead of speeding it up. So I'm going to give that to you. Why not? Might as well make it the super long video, right? It's already long as is. So this is what happens. This is what it looks like. I shall stuff them into an impossibly small box. Magic. <laughs> There you go. And then it comes down on the world stage. There it is. Claim responsibility for your actions. Atomic Olga's sensitivity to theta radiation can be turned to your advantage. Broadcast a theta signal that will draw her to you. All right, broadcast a theta signal on the world stage. We will go ahead and so, so discord there, but I want to Your minions are in combat. find the theta thing I'm supposed to do. Uh, the Venom device Training makes my own stone. minions go into, you know, makes my own minions attack each other. It's behind it, of course it is. Something is wrong. I need a level With 4 network to do that. The training room, boss. I need a level 4 network to do this. Okay. So, level 4 network. Where are we going to put this? You training know what? I'm going to just, because the, the place down there is full, isn't it? Isn't this full now? Kinda, yeah. I mean, it, I guess I could dig in a little bit more. I could dig in a little bit more. Maybe, maybe we'll get rid of this, and we'll just sort of dig back into here. I can fit another. I can fit another set of desks and stuff in here. Let's get rid of the big screens. I don't really care about the big screens anymore. And then why don't we add, right, another set of these? Has Man, it's really picky, isn't it? Sell these, don't care. And then uh, we'll set up. It's so picky on where it allows you to put things. I guess it's just, you know, yeah, all right. 
All right. Um, we'll go ahead and tear this down. Let me just do this. I'll be right back. Some of you guys have been telling me that you you liked it when there was building. You know, you don't like the new format. It's like it's quintessentially what I mean when I say I can't please everyone. <laughs> um, but it's um, you know, you like the process of like the problem solving process, right? And uh, I agree with you. I like the problem solving process too. Uh, but we have captured an agent. But um, I have noticed. You know, the whole, like, I can see metrics on videos, right? I can see how people... It's, there's what people say, and then there's what people do. Uh, and there's one thing that you can learn as, you know, as you get into the whole content creation job, if you will. Um, one thing you will learn uh, eventually, it just, it's a matter of time, is that uh, the things that people uh, do are significantly more important than what they say. And... Um, in terms of like what they like and what they don't like and stuff. And I can see that you guys, you know, metrics wise, I can see that you guys prefer this format. And um, so I'm, I'm incorporating it because I can see that, right? It's uh, it's like listening to feedback, like any any game, de any game dev, Something right? We would praise the them. The we would praise game boss. developers if they took the feedback that they received from, you know, people who played their game and then they Even adjusted the game. Workers. If you want more minions. According to that feedback, right? We would always, we would love it if they did that. And um, it's no different as being from being a creator, a, a you know, YouTuber or whatever, right? We, we listen to that feedback and we want to cater to, you know, what people are saying that they like. As long as what they say they like is demonstrated as what they say they like, right? And um, I, can, I can see that this is something that, this is what you guys prefer. So I'm trying to give it to you. Uh, let's get this and this and you know so i'm showing you a little bit of the building process now right and you know it's it's um it's, 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 at some point in the game you realize that um the game is what the game is and uh it's <laughs> it's it's move things around simulator uh, at this point right and you guys can see that so I apparently am not going to be able to get this stuff in a position unless I maybe move the hollow globe. And then it can slide you over, right? There you go. See? I'll give you just a little bit of taste, a little taste of the of the building since this video is ridiculously long anyway. <laughs> might as well just might as well just drag it out at this point. There's no problem here. Uh actually, now that I have this, I can I can get rid of this now. Yeah. Yep, one at a time. But it lets me do this. And I think this is enough broadcast strength at this point to. I want to say that this is enough to just flat out get every single region tier four now. That was the reason why I take the time to do that, because I don't need the screens. Nobody's using them anyway. <laughs> so it is what it is. This is absurd. Every single one being off. Training resumed. Things I do for content. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Now I've got a 270 capacity. See that? So I did. I, I took down these these lockers and it actually made a difference now. So we finally reached the point where the lockers are in are now effective. Right? Because up until right now, it, it didn't matter. Actually, right here can be bedroom. And then I can take the lockers. Well, I don't need any more, right? Yeah, these these right here would be enough. But I've been I've been removing lockers until it got down to 300 capacity, um, and then it you know it got till it got below 300 capacity, and then I can pop it back up. Um, a lot of people have said that you 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 don't understand yet, so let me just tell you how it goes, right? 300 is the cap. That's it. You can't go any higher than that. So it doesn't matter if I add a bajillion lockers right now. I'm still maxed out at 300 capacity, right? So as soon as you see capacity 300, that's it. Stop adding stop adding lockers. It doesn't matter anymore. Basically. All right. Broadcast strength is way more than I need. And you know what? That's that's okay. I'm going to interrogate these guys for some last minute intel. And then we'll go ahead 
broadcast our signal on the world stage with a tier four network. Has been I will be right back. Okay. Has been Network's upgraded. So now we're going to take this right here. It says, in the aftermath of your doomsday and device, broadcast a low-level theta signal. We Atomic Olga's sensitivity info. to it will lead her to appear on the island by your invitation this time. All right. There we go. Just, we're, bring, we're bringing her in. Um, basically upgrading all my different, uh, upgrading all my networks at the same time. So we're going to have basically tier four everywhere, but it looks like it takes 15 Intel to do this too. So I have to, I drained all my Intel hitting all these networks now too. So now I have to do more than that, but now for a trick I call missing in action. Good. Okay. Theta signals being broadcasted. We'll, uh, see you guys in a second once she gets here and we'll capture her and is in combat. And we'll see what it's like on the magnet for her. All right, she's walked right into your lair. Use your magnet trap to capture her and show her that her campaign is at an end. All right, we're just going to capture her. I don't have to actually use the magnet to capture her. So we're just going to capture her. And she'll be... Is she coming through the beach or through the back this time? Last time she came in through the back. This time she's coming through the back too. Honestly, I prefer that. You can come in through the back all you want. That's definitely better. Um, let's get, uh, let's get, uh, Sir Daniel, where you at? Yeah, hurry up, dude. Get up here. I want to use your sneaky ability, but you're never in the right position to do it. What good is being sneaky if you're always out of position? I actually kind of want to see if the plant goes off because I haven't seen it work yet. Oh, they're going to, come on guys. Really? Right. Jube, you you're going to solo me? these guys. You ready? You're going to solo them. Go. <laughs> it's not exactly a solo if he's got all those minions next to it, right? All right where's Sir Daniel? Yeah, nobody else is in position ever except Jube. He's the only one that can do it. Okay, she's under capture, please. Found. Wow. That was insanely fast. Did you just do 300? <laughs> Look at him just walking over all the body bags. Did you just... Hold on. I'm pretty sure he just did 300 smarts damage to Olga in a single swing. I go, I'm going to have to look back at the footage again. Maybe rewind it a little bit on YouTube there. But I clicked on Olga... And it showed 300 smarts. Like, it showed her full smarts. It was like 10 health and full smarts because she wasn't marked for capture yet. And then I marked her for capture. Jubei hits her and she's captured immediately. That was insane. <laughs> He's so strong. Jubei is by far the strongest. Absolutely. I, I, I can't imagine there's any henchman stronger than this guy. What do you ask that is ridiculous. Jubei? Um, second strongest, it, and still, it's an opinion, Incendio, because of the CC, in a group from range, he's the strongest. Uh, up close, no, no, not a chance. I'm sure Eli's very strong, too. I'm sure, you know, the other henchmen I don't have yet, I'm sure they're very strong. Um, and I'm, I'm sure some of you out there are even passionate about who your favorite is. Um, but, objectively, he just did 300 damage in a single swing, so... Uh, <laughs> bazinga. <laughs> uh, in any case, I'm going to wait for this resolve to go down. And we're going to interrogate her on that magnet down there. And then I'll be right back. So I got the, some comments on my last video related to, like, when I had Emma sitting here talking to Blue Saint. And I was, like, make-believing or mocking a conversation. Well, it turns out a lot of people said, hey, by the way, your genius can, can mock these guys, too. So uh, I just wanted to show that off because, yeah, steps? I guess so. Uh, so Olga if I bring her over down. here, Olga has about 70 resolve left. Mm. And if I say mock prisoner, it'll say that her job is mocking a prisoner. And she'll actually do it. <laughs> <a genius. laughs> <laughs> She's so evil. I'm thinking. So there's actually a mock thing. 
And apparently that drops the resolve to nothing, like really quickly. Like maybe not yes. nothing, but it drops it very quickly like that, right? All right. So anyway, just wanted to show it off. So like, yes, you can do it. I, I did it. Happy. Uh, so here's the magnet. And um, we're going to go ahead and escort Olga all the way over to the magnet. Okay, Olga's there. And I kind of like how it's a socialite doing the interrogation. And she's sucked right into the magnet, man. There we go. He's down. One less to deal with. There we go. Success. Pride goeth before the, the fallout. Has given us their secrets. Do you remember what you said to me in our first conversation, Atomic Olga? Uh, you said that we did not need to be enemies. And I disagreed with you. And how did that work out for you? Your hometown destroyed, your powers gone, your war lost. These words will not break me. When a soldier goes to war, she always knows there is a chance she went loose. I would say it's been a pleasure, Olga. But the one last thing you and I both know is the truth. Dazvidania. <laughs> to use your own words against you. So that is the demise of Atomic Olga. She is no more. And we are Not now left way. with only a single super agent remaining. That is the super agent, the Star Spangled Planner. We're going to go ahead and take care of that in the next video. Uh, and then we can start working on the crime lords and stuff too. Uh, we all, all we really have to do is just choose an unsuspecting territory and fire venom at it. We've already done that, but we've done it as part of other missions, I guess. Whatever, flood it with venom. In any case, thank you very much for watching. If any of you have any ideas and or feedback on the things we talked about today, uh, especially on that whole self-promotion thing, I'd really like to hear your feedback on that. Uh, it's a genuine question. I really want to know how you feel. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Links in the description down for that, too. We'd love to talk to you there, too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.